Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I read in May. It is a bit late, I'm really really sorry about that. It is like literally halfway through June already which is mental but I still want to share with you guys the nine books I read. I did DNF one of them so technically I started ten books but I only read nine so I'm going to share with you guys the books that I have read this month. We are in a new filming setup. Uh, I have finally trying out a new one. I hope that you like it, fingers crossed, you actually get to see my bookshelf as well <laughs> this way. So please do let me know if you like this, I think this is better than my past ones though, so fingers crossed we can stick with this. But yeah, in today's video I'm sharing with you all of the nine books that I have read. Two are not here because I got them out from the library, let's get on with it and <laughs> let's get started on these books. They are in semi-reading order of how I read them as well in the month, so let's get started. The first book I read this month was Addicted to You by Krista and Becky Ritchies. This is about Lil and Lo. Lil is a sex addict and Lo is an alcoholic and it is about their relationship and their family dynamic as well. This book is the Addicted series slash Callaway Sisters series because in these books there is 10 of them but it, there is books that don't just involve Lil and Lo. It involves the whole of the Callaway sisters and their relationships and their family dynamic. These books are amazing. I gave this five stars and yeah, I started this in April but didn't actually finish it until like the 1st of May or something like that. So I've added this in but this book is amazing so far in this series. I've read three of them and I can't wait to carry on. So yeah, this is a five star. would highly recommend. You need to be 18 plus to read these though but very, very easy read. I'm very interesting as well. I love the dynamic. And then the next book that I read was Ricochet which is the novella in the Addicted series. This is the second one and this is by Krista and Becky Ritchies as it is the Addicted series. This one is, I can't really say much because you need to be the first one to know but it, this one's still about Lily and Lo. Mainly about Lily though and her family and how she tries to like get, like rebuild her relationship with her family again and you also learn about other characters that you met in the Addicted, the Addicted to You. But this was a very good, this was about four stars for me. It took me a while to read it. This took me almost a week to read it, uh, which is shocking depending on the size of it. But yeah, it was a four stars. It was good. It's needed for the series. Would recommend, of course, because you need to read it. But most people enjoyed it a lot more than me. Maybe I just wasn't, I couldn't read it back to back. I don't know. But it was a good book at the end of the day. And now reading the others, I needed this information in this one for the other ones to make sense. The next book I read was You and Me on Vacation. I'll put it up here. I got it out from the library. This is the one I DNF'd. It is by Emily Henry. This book just wasn't for me. It was a bit too slow burn with not enough happening for me. I do like quite quick, but if it is a slow burn, because I do a slow burn, it needs to have something else and this book just it was missing that something else for me to carry on reading I was just not enjoying it wanting to read other books I started two books whilst reading this which for me is I don't really do that unless I do like a book sometimes I will like enjoy it but not enough and need two books on the go but yeah this book just wasn't it for me in the end I DNF'd it I did get out from the library so I didn't mind as much but yeah that wasn't it and then the next book that I read was the Heartstopper series by Alice Oudman, Oud, Osman? I don't know how to say your name, sorry if I did butcher it. This book is about Nick and Charlie, which it's a graphic novel, um, this book, which was incredible. I actually really enjoyed it. I would like some more of these. I gave it four stars out of five. Didn't give her the full five stars just because my dyslexia did struggle just a tiny bit with it. But this book is incredible. I love the series that this is based around so much. I have watched it about three times now. The series is amazing. It's on Netflix if you want to watch it. And this book is about Charlie who came out as gay and Nick becoming friends and learning more about themselves. And it's about how they and their friends kind of go about the world there is lgbtq community is represented in this book that was the word trans representation in this book but yeah they're all represented in this book and i actually wish 
that when I was a kid growing up, um, especially for other people, I, they probably think the same, that we had books like this. Um, her writing is amazing. I know she does a lot of other books that I'm personally not interested in reading. I know a lot of people have read and have loved, but yeah, her representation is amazing. And I also can't wait to carry on the series. Um, so yeah, I've only got the first one, but I'm going to slowly be buying the next three because there's four of them and then a fifth one's coming out soon, I think. Then after that, reading that one, I then read Without Merit by Colin Hoover. I put it up here. I did get it from the library at the same time as you and me on vacation. I did love this book. I read this in a day. I'm not joking. I literally did nothing else. I've never finished a book in a day until this book. Um, please do trick trigger, trigger warnings. It does deal with anxiety and depression and suicide in it it wasn't like i can't really spoil it for you but there is a lot of that sort of representation in it which personally i loved because it was nice to have a book where you could i could relate to it and be like okay right yeah and it was such an incredible book uh so underrated this was five stars for me like most colin hoover books are but this is such an underrated colin hoover book for me hardly ever see it on book talk anywhere and it was one of the best books I read this month. I think I mainly liked it because of it was a really easy read. It was really, really simple and it had great representation in it for people like myself. And I also fell in love with the characters instantly. It was about a twin, these two twins, they're both identical twins, but are very different. One um, dates people that are on their deathbed from cancer. The other one is very quiet and subdued. And this guy she meets <laughs> comes into her life, kind of like bulldozes in. And it's all about that and the family dynamic and the reason. Like they, they live in a church because her dad was stubborn and didn't want this person, this dog. And it's all, all about like their family dynamic. It's a really, really sweet book, but it is dealing with a lot of serious issues, but in like a really nice way that it kind of understands. And I loved it so much. The next book I read was the Fine Train by Laura Asher. This book, sorry, Lauren Asher. This book was absolutely incredible. It is about Rowan, who is the is one of the, the brothers part of business, and his grand when his grandfather dies, they left a will. And they opened the will and his grandfather built the dreamland and it's all about him. And like each one of their brothers have been given a letter. Now in this letter for Rowan, he has to become the director of Dreamland and find something that's missing and he has six months to do it. And well, he did it <laughs> and he met the girl Sa Sarah, I'm going to say it's what that says. And um, she is just uh, one of these people that um, does the girls and boys makeups, make them look like princesses and princes and she there's a meeting and she's sitting next to him and says some things that you really shouldn't say to your boss and it's all about their dynamic and it is incredible she i think it says it in the back yeah it says it here so she submitted drunk a proposal to the dreamland and uh it's all about that and how her and rowan get together and about like this new era and it is incredible. This is still probably my favourite one in the series so far. But I think Cal, his middle brother, is going to beat it. I love him in these books. Then the next book I read. Sorry, this was a five star read for me as well. Then the next book that I read in May was Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. This is the second one in the series. This is about Declan and Iris. Declan is trying to... Letters says that he needs to marry and have kids before he can become the CEO of the grandfather's business so far his father is in it and his father is not the nicest human being he's quite verbally abusive which is really sad to see and it's about their dynamic and he in the end iris his assistant has to come in and basically marry him because he pisses off all of the girls he's like grumpy sunshine and it is really really good this is black representation which i absolutely loved in it and my god i love declan it's grumpy sunshine to a t this book 
and you learn a bit about Cal as well because Cal is Iris's best friend in this which I love because I was like we're getting to know Cal a bit more before the books even come out the third one and she basically has to marry Declan and it's about their relationship after they're married and how um what he does and all of that jazz is incredible these books the dreamland billionaire books by lauren asher are incredible i read both of them basically i read this one in 24 hours and the other one in two days like they're incredible books and i cannot wait for the next one i do want more lauren asher books they do sound good the next series i want to get is a dirty air series but my friend says they're kind of repetitive if you read them one after another so i'm a bit nervous to read but they also sound really good so I cannot wait but yeah I would recommend the Billionaire series if you're over 18. I think all of these books apart from Heartstopper are over 18 books which you can tell what books I've been reading but yeah it was incredible this book um highly highly recommend. Most people like this prefer this book than Rowan's book um personally I think I just prefer Rowan over Declan but Declan I think they're pretty equal to be honest. The next book that I read was Archer's Voice. This is by Mia Shirtshedin. I don't know how to say that. And this is, oh, this book was so good. It is about Archer who has some family dealings when he was a kid. You do learn about him quite early on. And basically he can't speak. He can still hear, but he just can't speak. And he's been locked up in this room. And Bree comes along into this small town after dealing with some quite horrific very horrific things that have happened to her she comes to small town to try and just relax and get away from it all and she is the only person who wants to actually get to know archer in this small town everyone's known him since being a kid because they've all lived there and they all know about his family dynamic when he was growing up uh but no one goes to help him brie comes along and brie's like so like intrigued and she gets to know him and it's all about their relationship and Archer like getting back into the world and Brie and it is incredible. They both deal with some quite serious issues so maybe tr trigger warnings but I loved the way they kind of fought through it together and together they helped each other. It's an incredible book and it oh, I loved it so much. I think I gave this about four stars. I didn't give it, I can't remember if it was like 4.5 or something like that it was an incredible book though um i forgot to mention like i do half the time but um the fine print and terms and conditions were both 4.75 it took me a while to get back into giving books five stars after reading um exodus and like the ravenhood series so that's why they're not full five stars but to be honest i would say they're five stars anyway um maybe i would give out five stars too flippantly i don't know but yeah <laughs> they're all amazing books i've had such amazing time recently like reading just incredible books a lot of the books i've actually given five stars recently don't know if i'm too flippant with five stars or what i don't know um the next book that i read in may was punk 57 by penelope douglas i did actually read this in my kindle and i loved it that much that i bought it in paperback because i want to reread it it was an incredible read you can get this on prime reading for no it's free to read and this is about misha and ren they became pen pals i can't remember what grade it is because it's not like a british year um but they became pen pals and they started writing letters to each other about everything they would argue over iphone or android and pizza what's the best like take out pizza etc and they finally there was one rule where they weren't allowed to meet and that rule accidentally got broken and it's all about their dynamic and whether or not like misha has a goal and he is gone to this school and yeah he meets her but though their relationship is very rocky like he she doesn't know it's Misha he's under a false name but Misha knows it's her and he's a bit like shocked at what she's like she, she's not like anything that she is in the letters but you kind of learn about them and you get that it's a dual point of view I think most of these books I've read are dual point of view but um yeah you learn about their dynamic and about 
like Ren and why she writes and Misha and about their family life and this book is incredible very spicy Penelope Douglas does it again uh, this was my first ever Penelope Douglas book and my god it was incredible I've opened my eyes up to her writing but yeah it was an incredible read but like these it's like seven years of just writing letters and then they meet each other and yeah it was an incredible book but uh there, there's a certain scene um the truck scene and if anyone knows what i'm on about it's a good if you want to know what i'm on about you just need to read it and then in this book pete um can't spoil it but people were mentioned in this from the devil knight series and due to that i was like what's the devil knight series so i bought corrupt on my kindle 77p and I was like, 70 CMP, I'm going to give it a go. Halfway through, was loving it, but really struggling to read because I, my dyslexia doesn't like Kindle. So I bought the entire series, 157, in one go. So this month uh, in May, I read Corrupt by Penelope Douglas and it was incredible. This one is about Erica and Mitchell. This goes back and forth between three years ago and present, present day. So it does mention it a little bit in Punk 57, but not kind of what happened, but the boys apart from Mitchell were in put into prison for three years and it kind of flicked back and forth between three years ago um, with the Four Horsemen and, uh, and Arika and present day, which is Arika and Michael. And it's just about their dynamic and kind of learning about them. You learn a lot about kind of, so they're all, four of them are always involved in all the books, even though all the books are like based on, for example, this one's Arika and Mitchell, the next one is Kai and Brooke, the next one after that is Damien and Winter, you kind of get the gist, but you do learn about these characters, like you learn about Winter in this, um, and things like that. This one, Michael's a basketball player and a professional one, and Arika is a college student, and she's trying to get away from his younger brother and it's all about the family dynamics and it's very dark very bully romance and very smutty i would read trigger trigger warnings just in case anything will trick like trigger you it is quite dark like it's very dark but it's very very good it is incredible i cannot wait to read the next one i'm literally like once i finish the book i'm reading currently i'm on to hideaway which is kai and brooke which i'm very excited about there's a certain scene in this as well with michael kai and erika and it was a yeah <laughs> you just need to read it it's quite near the end though of this book but yeah this was incredible she erika has always noticed michael and always wanted michael even though everyone expects her to be with his younger brother and Michael's always wanted her but never thought he was good enough and it's all about their relationship and it flicks back and forward like I said and it was just an incredible read like I don't know what it is maybe I just love the four horsemen and Misha to be honest so all of these books are incredible to me but yeah it was an incredible read like incredible so there are all the books that I actually did read this month it is a large pile of books um apparently every month i just keep building up the amount of books i'm reading which is kind of mental uh because i started off reading again about a year and a bit ago and yeah the first book i read like when i first started getting back into reading took me like two months to read so it's kind of mental i've read like nine books part way through ten this month but yeah they were all the books i read it is a big pile of books but i really do hope that these reviews help i would recommend every single one of them all of them you have to be 18 plus apart from heartstopper that's the only one you can read if you're not which kind of shows the books i am reading recently i'm not really reading any ya books i'm going to try and bring a few with me when i go away so when i do that video of me packing up all my books you will see some ya books but to be honest the books i'm interested in are adult books but I am going to try and vary out for you guys so I can give other recommendations. But yeah, these are all the books. Would highly recommend every single one of them. They were incredible. Basically, all of these books nearly were five star reads. I think like two of two weren't and that was Ricochet and Heartstopper. The rest of them were basically five stars. So that kind of shows the <laughs> the amount of level of books I'm reading if most of them are five stars. It's kind of mental. But yeah, I would recommend each and every one of you to read these. 
with Punk 57 and Corrupt the Devil Knight series and the Addictor series they are very expensive to buy so I'd probably recommend to try them first on Kindle see if you like them and then if you do I'd recommend either to buy them if you want them in physical form or just keep them on Kindle um I started buying them due to the fact of my dyslexia and Kindle is not the way for me um but I'm gonna keep trying with Kindle because it is 10 times cheaper but yeah uh, there are all the books I read. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which books you have read this month and whether or not you like them, whether or not you recommend them. Please do give me some recommendations. That would be ever so helpful. And please do click the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time I do upload. I think my plan is to try and upload on like a Wednesday and maybe a Saturday or a Sunday. I don't know yet. I'm going to try and get back on track but I'm going away in about two weeks. So there will be some going away vlogs that I'll be vlogging what I'm doing when I'm away. There'll be lots of reading vlogs. There'll be lots of summer content. As you can see here, like the, this collection of books is quite summery. So there'll be a few, fair few books on here. So yeah, I hope that you do like this video and I will see you guys next time in my next video.